Hi, I'm Jim from AbleNet, and today I'm going to show you how to get started with the Bluetooth Feather Touch. To get started on an iPad or iPhone, begin by going to the Settings app, then Bluetooth, and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Next, turn the Bluetooth on. When Bluetooth is turned on for the first time, the status indicator light will flash blue on and off for approximately one minute, indicating that Bluetooth is in pairing mode. To restart pairing mode, touch either switch top. Under Devices, select Bluetooth followed by a string of numbers. These numbers denote the Bluetooth serial number. If you see more than one Bluetooth listed, look at the back of the Bluetooth and match the serial number on Bluetooth to the serial numbers shown on the iPad or iPhone. The status indicator light will remain solid blue for approximately three seconds after your Bluetooth Feather Touch has successfully paired with your device. The first time you use Bluetooth, the blue switch top, S1, is configured to use the keyboard command space, and the yellow switch top, S2, is configured to use the keyboard command enter. Both keyboard commands can be changed. After 20 minutes of non-use, Blue 2 will go to sleep. To wake up, touch either switch top. Continuously activating either switch top will continuously send the same keyboard command to your device unless your switch control software is configured to behave differently. Your Blue 2 is now ready to use. For more great resources and ideas on how to use your AbleNet technology, go to www.abletnetinc.com and click on the help link at the top of the page to access our knowledge base.